more reasons for two-tone watches. Let's go! Yeah, guys, I don't know why this is, but two-tone watches, I, I do have a thing for two-tone watches. Um, I, the first watch I purchased was my Rolex GMT Master 2. It is still in my collection and I'm every time very happy and satisfied with. And I think this is also what I do like about this steel gold never gets out of style, so to say. Look at um, Cartier, the new Santos was released and um, what did Cartier introduce beside the steel model? A two-tone one with a nice um, yellow gold bezel, screws in steel and then the screws of the steel bracelet in gold. I think this adds to the design as well. Breitling did this in the past very well from my point of view. They do have the, um, the bezel and they highlighted parts of the bezel um, first with a gold coating, later on with um, full gold components and I think this, this is something I do like. The 80s are back actually, you can see this in terms of fashion, but you can see this in of watches as mentioned the Cartier, Santos model line, but also Tudor get back to two-tone watches. They released the uh, Tudor black base steel and gold. I really do like and I do, do really hope for 2019 Basel World 20th of March um, that they release also new colors for the Tudor Black Base Steel and Gold. This would be awesome and I think this is something which never gets out of style and which looks every time once and again pretty good. Reason number two why I do actually prefer two-tone watches is you got the best out of two worlds. You've got the shininess, the warmth of yellow gold or rose gold and you've got the robustness and roughness of steel. Of course the center links of my 1167 13LN do have scratches. Yeah, but um, in comparison with my 1166-18 I felt that this was even more easier to scratch. So, I don't know, it's just my personal feeling maybe, but I think um, on a two-tone watch you do see scratches far less than on a full gold watch. The second thing is actually that the two-tone watch is lighter than a full gold watch. The 1166-18 is a beast on the wrist. It was awesome, it has a really nice heavy weight to it, but you can compare it to a deep sea in terms of um, wear quality or wear feeling. and. Two-tone is a bit lighter, a bit heavier than steel, but not too heavy for everyday carry, I think. It's a pretty good thing. A reason number three for two-tone watches is actually, um, it combines with every metal, actually. So uh, if you, right now I do wear a steel watch and a gold ring, it's all right, it's working. I do mix my metals, actually. To be honest, come on, if you have a two-tone watch, it does combine far easier. It doesn't look out of place. You've got a gold ring, you've got a steel bracelet, you've got a two-tone watch, it fits in, uh, or you maybe you have a clasp of your belt uh, made of um, gold or with a gold coating. I, Maybe it's just my point of view, but I think I do prefer two-tone watch when I combine different metals um, as well with my jewelry. And the final and fourth reason for two-tone watches is you can get them. You want a Daytona? Get a two-tone Daytona. You don't need to be on a waiting list. You want to have a Submariner right now with discount? Go two-tone. Come on, guys. This is the best reason, isn't it? You mind who wants to be on a waiting list for a steel watch, really? Alright guys, this concludes today's video. I would like to know now from you guys, what do you prefer? Do you like to turn watches? Why or why not do you? Please share this with the community in the comment section below. I wish all of you now a very happy Sunday afternoon, a good start into the new week. Look forward to see you in the next one. Say goodbye and auf Wiedersehen, euer Konstantin. Ciao guys! Oh, 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 oh,